Kamala Harris, not obvious that she will be the one who runs uh, next time after Joe Biden. Uh, she is now, uh, she's being caught into some strange, she, she's not good at improvising. So when a question comes that she's not really prepared for, she never really has a good idea where to go with it. Here's an example of this talking about voter ID. Is agreeing to voter ID one of those compromises that you'd support? I don't think that we should underestimate what what that could mean. That could mean, right, okay, sure. Because in some people's mind, that mm -hmm. means, well, you're going to have to um, some, some mind. Xerox or, 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 or photocopy your mm -hmm. ID to send it in to prove you are who oh you are. Oh, my gosh. Well, there are a whole lot of people, especially people who live in rural communities, who don't, there's no... Kinkos, there's no Office Max mm -hmm. near them. Literally People impossible. have to understand that when we're talking about voter ID laws, be clear about who you have in mind and what would be required of them to prove who they are. Mm, that is. Really... Of course, people have to prove who they are. Is that but true? But not in a way that makes it, them, it almost impossible for them to prove who they are. Almost impossible? We're talking about identification. First of all, everyone's got a phone. All right, they, they can take a quick picture and upload it to the site if, if that's what it is. You don't have to worry about going to a Kinko's. What year is this? Beyond that, what do you mean it's that impossible? Overwhelmingly, minorities tell you over and over again they favor voter ID. You're just making minorities out to being incapable of dealing with everyday civilization. It's so freaking insulting.